Do it here one more time at 65. Diaka Mahalas for the United States in the blue. Amuzad Khalili for Iran in the red. Nice shot attempt by Yanni right away. This Iranian loves to get to the underhooks. I feel like we keep saying that over and over, but watch how he changes directions. His pressure's so good forward, but he changes directions and almost tries to hip toss people. He's been very successful with it throughout this tournament. I'm sure he's gonna try it here in this match as well. Straight on shot by Diaka Mahalas, making his second world's appearance for Team USA. Watching Diaka Mahalas here at these world championships, he scored quite a bit from his knees. You know, that's his style. He, he, he can score from all over as he comes in on a deep shot here. Let's see how they go on the scoring there as we go back and forth. And now the Iranian exposed on his back. Two and two. Man, look at this flurry. As we are going to. I'm sure take multiple looks at the scoring on this. Diakama Hollis right now with a 4-2 lead. And we will get a whistle and let's see if a challenge comes in. I believe there will be from the United States. Yes, the American corner is going to challenge. And I think it's off the initial fray that we saw. So I think that they're challenging what he saw the Matt Judge hold up because there was a lot of points being scored. The challenge might, they might take it back though, being up 4-2. This could have been four right here, too. Great shot by Yanni. Feet to back. Has to be four, I would assume. Four two, probably on the exchange. Exposure there, and Yanni is getting exposed himself. I'm interested to see how they call this. So two two at this point, we both agree. I think and four is two. that feet to back right there. I think four two, yeah. So you're thinking 6-2 should be the and score. And then there's another exchange after that, though. It's tough when we don't have the rewind right. fast forward button up here <laughs> yeah. in the booth. I'm not used to that. <laughs> I mean, they have so many things they got to look at right now. It looks like he's challenging the feet to back call. That's what they keep going over. That one looked like Iranian initiated that exchange. Yanni seemed to be content going over as he thought it was his action. Antonio Silvestri, one of our replay officials, to announce. Score, score by score. First entry is two points blue after down attack, two points red. After both rest, the cover is taken position. It's four point blue, danger position. The action continues. Red make all the down attack, blue create a danger position here. We give four blue, two red. The action continues, normal position. Last action is also scored by two blue and two red. So, two red, two blue, final score is two. Final score is six for red and eight for blue. Ten, one. Well, there you go. <laughs> Matt <you> Majors, <laughs> take note. Are you as confused as I am? <laughs> Six to two, challenge one by the American coaches. So the United States will get two, then they get a four, and then they get another two. Eight Iran two? gets the two, and then they will get an additional two as well. That's what I heard, eight four is the score. Now. He said eight yeah. six, and I thought that was an error in what he had said. I eight, think six. eight, oh, they are gonna go eight six, wow. okay. So they will get the additional two for Iran. So Diakama Hollis with the two, and then the four, and then he gets a two, and then the Iranian with three sets of twos. And there we go, back at it, a we, minute 15 in. We talked about fireworks, but nobody thought 14 points in about 10 seconds. That was awesome. Single leg attempt. Iranian athlete has him in the front headlock. Contact.
Go behind attempt by the Iranian athlete. He ends up on a single leg. Looking to go behind. Nothing yet. Has to break him all the way down. Takedown confirmed. Eight to eight. Yanni Diakamahalis is still going to be ahead, though, because he has a four-point move earlier in the match. Inside a minute to go in a wild opening period. Tied at eight. Amuza Khalili. Won the Asian Championship last April. Into the gold medal match for the first time in his career, and he's in on another shot. Diakama Hollis near the edge. Muzu Khalili with one burst driving him out of bounds, but grounded for Diakama Hollis, so no step out point awarded. Shot caught effectively. Amuzab Khalili. And a stalemate back to the feet. Short time wrestling. We've seen a lot of points scored in the closing 10 seconds of the first period. Will one of these athletes strike? Does not appear so. So 16 points on the board. Nothing settled a draw after three minutes. What a first period. 16 points. Eight to eight, this is gonna be a, an insane second period. Iran normally the aggressor, but it seems that he's been paused a little bit as Yanni just continues to shoot. He's gonna be looking to win the front headlock position. Yanni needs to get his hands locked on the leg. He can even be extended in there. Once he gets his hands locked, he's one of the best in the business at getting back to his base and getting up and finishing those takedowns. But right now, Iran is keeps him off his legs and pulls him in the front headlock. Interesting how this is going to play out. It looks like every time Iran gets to the underhook, that's when Yanni shoots. Seems to be his game plan. I'm sure he's going to stick to it. Three minutes to decide the gold medal. Another shot attempt by Yanni and back into that front headlock. Musa Khalili going to look to pull him down or lift him up and go to the edge. Another shot attempt. Relentless with those single leg attacks. Two shots here in the early stages make it three shots for Diaka Mahalis. Nothing yet. But he is bringing his offense to start this second period. Nice duck under from the bottom of the front headlock. Another shot back on the legs. Shot attempt by Iran, deep this time. Got the leg shelved on the high crotch. Diakama Hollis looking to chest lock, looking to get that leg off the shelf there. He's gonna be turning down. Nothing yet as he has to break him down. And I don't know if he touched there. What did they call? One point for the step out. Great job being stingy there. That does give the advantage to Amuzu Khalili. Criteria not the factor right now. The Akamahal is down a point for the United States. Just keeps coming up empty with those low shots. The shot count is up. It's very high, but he needs to get a little bit better setup. Once again, I don't know if he touched. They're going to call the actual takedown this time. 11 to 8, Amaza Kalili. You see Iranian crowd sensing their guy is on a roll. He's opened up the three point lead. The Akamahalis. In a high scoring match for gold, 90 seconds to go. Right arm underhook, Khalili. Snaps down Diakama Hollis. Yanni springs right back up to his feet. Again, the underhook set up. Diakama Hollis in trouble near the edge. Khalili will suck him back down and get two more as he starts to pull away. 13 8. 
Very impressive by the 20 year old. It's finally getting to his underhooks and getting to his offense. Slid it by to the cross knee pick. Finishing that takedown. One of his easier ones of the match. 13 to 8 with a minute left. Five points unanswered for Amuza Khalili here in this second period. Diaka Mahalis yet to dial up any offense despite the high shot volume in this second period. He'll come in at him. Pretty easy catch there by Khalili. Both wrestlers make their way into the center, both giving one final check of the clock. Pulls him into a front headlock. This is a position where he can rally off a bunch of points in a row, but defended by the Iranian. Another shot attempt by Yanni Diakamahalis. 10 seconds left in the gold medal bout. The future is now for the young 20-year-old, Rahman Amuza Khalili. In his first senior world championship, he is going to win the world gold. Second period, the difference. He outscores Diak Mahalas 5-0, and he wins the gold medal 13-8. Your final score. celebrates the gold medal. What a match, 13 to eight. So much pressure going into these matches in the gold medal, and these guys came out swinging. You don't see